This is Buildcraft, one of the best tech mods of all time. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get started in this mod and what all these blocks actually do, because it can get quite confusing for a beginner. Okay, let's talk engines. So the first engine is none other than the redstone engine, which is going to be crafted as follows. So we use some wooden gears, which are made out of sticks or bamboo, and then we use a piston, and then also we use a piece of glass, and on the top, three oak planks, and we get a redstone engine. So the redstone engine is basically the most simplest engine of available and it's the least expensive and it's powered simply just by redstone current. It doesn't really produce much energy and it cannot be used to power all machines but it's a great starting point. Next up is the Stirling engine which was previously known as the steam engine and that's crafted with three pieces of cobblestone, a piece of glass, a piston and two of these stone gears which are made in a similar way to the wooden gear which is actually part of the recipe and it's made with some cobblestone surrounding it. Now this is actually the next tier and it's a very similar speed to this redstone engine here but it will blow up if there's too much fuel fed to it. Now this can't overheat unless there's too much power given to it and it runs on burning items thus it needs constant refueling to actually maintain it running. So what items can be used for burning? Well first of all we have lava buckets then we also have coal so normal coal and also charcoal, general wood blocks and planks, we have sticks, saplings, crafting tables, chests and bookshelves for an example. Now these are just examples because basically you can just burn everything the normal furnace can in order to make the sterling engine run but it still requires a redstone input to work so that could be like a lever or a switch next up we have the combustion engines which are made with iron ingots a piece of glass a piston and also two of these iron gears which yet again are an upgrade from the stone gear this makes the combustion engine so this is the third tier of engine in our lineup of engines and is the most powerful so this runs the fastest with the most power and they run on oil or fuel so you can see there's empty tanks here and creating an on-demand system to actually feed it fuel automatically will save us a whole bunch of time instead of refilling it because you have to put buckets in and just constantly refuel it right now when these overheat they will actually turn red and if they're not cooled in time they will actually explode so what we can do is we can actually place buckets of water within these by right clicking you can hear that splash sound and then it fills the water tank which is one of these three tanks inside and that will offer or serve as a coolant so it basically fills it with 10 buckets in the tank and it serves as a water coolant so it doesn't explode but you can also offer it a water source as well next up is the quarry so after mining for a while you can automate the process completely from there on using the quarry block so you make the quarry block basically with two iron gears with a piece of redstone then we have another iron gear in the middle surrounded by two gold gears and then also two diamond gears and a diamond pick in the middle. This creates what's called the quarry block. So creating gold gears is basically just like the other gears, it's always an upgrade from the previous tier. So in this case, it's iron gear surrounded by gold ingots. It's the same for diamond gear, gold gear surrounded by diamond pieces. We use a diamond pickaxe and we can create this quarry block here. So this is quite expensive to craft, okay? Let me just place it down so you get a basic understanding of this. But it saves a whole bunch of time. This will basically create a nine by nine block area by default and it'll mine down until it hits lava or bedrock. You need multiple engines to actually power this thing so for an example i would create multiple combustion engines and usually creating them in a row or behind each other works the best but with power combustion engines of course with oil buckets so i'll just get loads of oil buckets here oil are obviously found in natural deposits around the world so we'll fill it with cool oil inside you can see the tank is full and i'll do the same for the other engine here then we're also going to fill them with water like we did in the previous showcase just so we have a coolant for them. And then now we have two full engines with oil and water. I'm also gonna get some levers and basically put some levers here. So these levers, when we flick them on, will power the engine like so. And then now you can see it's gonna laser blocks, which are blocking the frame. So any grass blocks that are in the way from the frame being built, any leaf blocks it'll basically clear the area automatically for you and it takes some time to actually do this once it clears the ring in the middle it will then proceed to actually build the frame itself so it needs to build a complete frame alongside this small template is created and then it'll fill with these orange pipes and then the mining drill will begin to operate and excavate the earth block by block and now it's going to start building this orange brown frame so wait for this frame to completely build around the perimeter of the marked area and then it will proceed to actually start mining now what we can do in the meantime before that happens or hopefully before it happens is we can actually try to create some pipe there's something called transport pipe which we're going to want to use so wooden transport pipes and cobblestone transport pipes as well as some chests are what we're going to want to do so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to put the chest here, not the best location, and then I'm going to put a wooden transport pipe here to the machine and then one to the chest and then I'm going to connect the two 
with a cobblestone pipe and as you can see now any mined blocks which are mined from the quarry which has already started mining will feed now through the quarry block up through this transport pipe and then eventually it will reach our chest now these move quite slowly but when we connect it to a double chest we can now use it and access it to actually now output all of the mined blocks and these will slowly go up as the items feed into it so we can actually store them later if we don't create this process it will just thrust all the mine blocks out of the quarry block and create a whole mess which may lag but it's just generally messy so this is how we store blocks here this is going to be filled with dirt which is not really really appealing but once it starts to mine some serious good resources like coal iron diamond gold things like that they will also be output here so we'll have a ton of nice resources for later so that's how to create the pipe system now i need to kind of briefly explain how we actually craft these pipes wooden transport pipe is made by using planks and then a piece of glass in the center and cobblestone is cobble with a piece of glass in the center very simple crafting recipes and then we can create a whole system which is self-sustaining and all we then have to do is monitor the oil and refill it as it's required and these engines should stay blue and not go red because we have coolant which is the water inside the tanks next up we're going to get a combustion engine because we're actually going to create a new system so what we want to do now is we're going to create another wooden transport pipe but we're also going to create what's called a wooden kinesis pipe which is a transport pipe with a piece of redstone so we're going to craft that then we're going to craft a mining well which is made from iron redstone and iron gear and an iron pickaxe and that creates ourselves a mining well as well as this another block which is the main core component for this new system i'm going to show you is the pump so the pump of course is used to actually pump fluids out from a reserve so a lava pool or a water pool so what we need is iron ingots redstone an iron gear and a bucket but also two tanks and tanks are made just by surrounding the crafting grid with a glass now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to a place where we can pump things out of so in this case this is a water pool you could also go to one of these pools and we could create an artificial one and actually fill it with lava for an example so i'm just going to fill this artificial pool with some lava just so we now have got a lava pool that's as full as it can be there we go that seems fairly even and now we're going to create our combustion engine with a piece of wooden kinesis pipe and that will connect to it so we have the combustion engine connecting to the wooden kinesis pipe now we need to create our pump to actually get lava to the engine and the pump needs to be over the edge of the actual lava so in fact i'm just going to place the pump over the actual lava itself and then we can then connect more wooden kinesis pipes to the pump itself like so and then we want to make some cobblestone or stone kinesis pipe so i'm actually just going to make some stone ones these are made from a stone transport pipe and a piece of redstone and this stone is going to be able to connect the wooden to the stone just like we did with the quarry and now we have the engine connected to our pump so obviously we can then power the engine itself so before we turn this on we're going to fill this engine with water again and obviously fill it with oil again so now it's completely full and when we turn it on it will operate and then this kinesis pipe you can see will actually power the engine itself so now this is basically draining this lava pit and it is actually working but i'm going to turn it off because the contraption is not fully finished next we need some fluid pipes so we're going to use some stone fluid pipes so we'll get some stone fluid pipes then we also want some pipe sealant so as you can see a stone fluid pipe is a stone transport pipe with some pipe sealant which is made from slime balls or from residue and what we're going to do is we're going to get the stone fluid pipe here as so and build kind of like an arc and you can see now the lava is actually coming through here right so it's actually pumping from the pump through this pipe and you can obviously connect these pipes also to the engine itself and it will go straight through these pipes as you can see and this is how we will pump it from this lava pool transport it up through the pipe and then it'll go to the output of block so this is how we actually utilize this now remember water is actually in this tank to cool it so what we could also do with this is instead of pumping up through a lava pool we could actually just use a bucket get rid of all this lava so it's no longer a lava pool just to show you an example and then what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to fill this once it's drained i'm going to fill it with water now the reason i'm going to fill this pool now with water instead of lava is because i want to show you how you can create a coolant system now this water pool is not an infinite water source you want to create an infinite water source if you want this to be a permanent solution and what then you can do is instead of feeding lava through this pump into the engine we can feed water directly into it so instead of filling it up with water buckets to cool it we can constantly feed water in instead of lava so water is now going up through it There's there's already lava in this pipe bear in mind so this lava is basically just going to go nowhere but if we were to fill this pipe with water instead it would then feed in water into the machine okay so i'm just going to destroy these stone transport pipes which have lava in them already and we're going to create more fresh ones here to transport the water 
So now the water should flow in through here and into then the engine and it'll fill up the reserve of water so we can constantly fuel the engine. So that would work on any machine. So if we run our quarry and we didn't want the engine to overheat, we could actually pump in some water too. So for an example, we could then make another pipe. So if there's excess water, we can then just fill our engine up instead and this is going to be kind of messy but i could feed it all the way from this pump that we made as an example up through here and the water will slowly slowly trickle down and then eventually it'll go into our other engine which is now green instead of blue because it's actually ran out of coolant so we need more water to cool it so slowly but surely the water will trickle in from our pump down this pipe and then it will go into our engine and cool it so the water's nearly reached it and now it's going to slowly start filling up but since there's such little water in it and it takes ages it'll take quite a long time to actually fill it but you can see it's actually filling up now and then eventually it'll probably go from green to blue or it'll just stay on green so that's how to make a quarry that's how to make a pump and then also so pump lava and water and then use the water as an automatic coolant system. So these are some of the cooler systems in Billcraft. So we've built a quarry like that and we've built a pump system. But you also you can see the quarry is now feeding in more valuable resources like coal. So it's reaching a lower ground level. Of course, what I would do is block this off so water doesn't drain into the quarry because it just kind of makes the system annoying. Now we're going to create a mining well. So what does a mining well do? Well, it digs a hole straight down underneath it and it requires an alternate redstone current. Let's add a combustion engine and let's fuel it up. Then let's also connect our stone fluid pipe to our new machine so we don't have to worry about cooling the engine. And let's put a lever here to power it, the redstone. And then I'm just going to actually just break a few blocks around it because there's actually a pipe which is mining pipe that will create below it so if i right click on it and then we actually start it you can see the mining pipe will extend down underneath the earth as it just continues to mine so this mining well will mine and it'll output blocks as it mines so this is basically like the lower tier of quarry right and that's the reason why i showed you earlier just so you can understand how the system works and of course we could do the same thing here where we connect up a new stone transport pipe this is going to be quite messy and we could attach it to a wooden transport pipe. And now anything mined from the mining well, just like with a quarry, will feed up through these transport pipes and then they'll be outputted and they go to the chest. The only downside of this though is connecting here at this point means that it will input items from the quarry into the chest and then it'll feed them out directly the wrong way. So to prevent that from happening, you want to basically create two entry points to the chest. So don't connect both these pipes, create a new entry point to the chest and then add a wooden pipe there to connect it. So now then items are going to be sent back the right way to then flow into the chest, okay? So don't connect two systems or you'll get errors in between in the direction they're feeding into the block. Next up is the distiller. So this distiller or distillery is made from two tanks with a diamond gear, two redstone torches, and an additional third tank. This is basically a block which replaces the refinery, which is an original block, which as you can see is no longer in this current version, which is 1.12.2. Replace the refinery and it's used to refine many oil-related fluids into other oil-related fluids through the process of oil processing. So I hope this video has been useful as a beginner's guide on how to play build craft and just how on earth these machines actually work. If you don't understand any of these machines like the quarry, the mining well, the pump, or any of these energy or water transport systems and automation processes we've set up in this video, do leave some comments down below asking questions and I'll try my best to get back to you. And all I ask is smash a like on the video and subscribe and I'll be bringing some more mod showcases real soon. And if you want me to cover a specific mod on this channel, let me know about that in the comments too. I am going to try and cover some more complex tech and magic mods because those are a little bit hard to get into for beginners so i want to make them easy to understand so if you're interested in mods and mod pack content i've got a ton of great videos on this channel just for you and i'll see you soon